Welcome to Mornings with Michael. Happy Taco Tuesday to everybody. Uh, our word of the day is a olivaceous. Olivaceous is our word of the day. Of a dusky or yellowish green color, all green. Sometimes Kermit the Frog's color appears olivaceous, while other times he is bright Kelly green. So that's our word of the day. Let's go to our S&P 500 heat map. We got some selling today. Apple is up on his AI news, up um, only, almost 7%. That's a big move. Uh, a lot of sea of red elsewhere. NVIDIA is down slightly. We did put on a covered call option on NVIDIA at 125 for July. And let's see, um, we've got a mixed bag in a few other places. Communication services looks good. Meta continues to perform well. And basic materials looks good. Otherwise, it is kind of a mixed bag wherever you go. So that is a story there. If you're concerned about your portfolio or your 401k turning into a 201k, much like in 2008, a lot of people are talking about a hard landing. So annuities beat index investing by about 5%, goes up in value, goes up in value, does not come down. And right now they're offering between 25 and 45 cent bonuses. So if you'd like to learn more, you can text me. Uh, so that is the story there. And now let us go back to our charts. Here's our charts. We're looking at NTAP. Had um, a little pause here, pulled back to the 10 day and is breaking out again here. So we bought this over at 100. So continues to perform well. Let's go to the dollar index. Dollar index is on a three-day streak. Gap up, another gap up. Tried to move higher, just moved marginally higher today. Silver. Silver is gapping down. It is gapping all over the place. We've got a gap down here. We've got to move up here. We've got a gap up. We've got a gap down. We've got a gap up. And now they're gapped down. So we'll see if it comes down to a 50-day moving average. We also have a target down here. We got a gap here. We got a gap here. So we think it potentially could pull back to 2298, 23 area. Gold, we got some gapping going in gold here. We got a gap up here. We got a gap down here. We got a gap up here, another gap, and then a gap down. So a little volatility in the metals area. Let's take a look at the copper index. Copper, bunch of gapping around here as well. It is now below its 50-day moving average. This is one that we used to hold, arrow. Arrow in the copper mining. Take a look at tech. And it finally comes up, gap down today. And we'll look at Freeport McMoran next. Our internet is a little unstable, I think. We're going to pause. So we are back. Had a little issue with our Bing network. But there's Freeport McMoran pulling back. And we have Southern Copper pulling back as well. The bond yields were falling today. We filled this gap over here. Let's see if it continues. It's 
So fell to 4.4% yield and the 20 year yield fell as well. We've got this 10, 20 and 200 day average got turned away there. Uh, filled one of our gaps here. We got another gap down here. I'm not sure if when and where that will fill. Our VIX has moved up a little bit. As we said, um, all of these days in a row that it had turned down was a stale red light. So we're going to pop up and it has to 12.95 S&P 500 did bounce pull back near the 10 day moving average and then bounce up 0.24% the equal weighted S&P it's fell and then came right back to the 50 day moving average the Nasdaq and this little shelf here, and it's broke out of that shelf up 0.69%. The equid on the NASDAQ fell and then it's bounced right back. So we got this other little shelf forming right here. IWM would think the bounce with the yields pulling back. Interesting, it pulled back and then bounced here. It's off 0.64%. I would not have figured that. The Dow Jones holding right at the moving average. Let us go to see what is up 200%. Definitely Apple is going to be up. It is not on the list of what's up 200%. We got a firm. Looks like it's getting above all of its moving average. Bounce off the 200-day, up 11%. Pretty good volume. Look at this massive volume over here. It has been on a pretty downward slope. So maybe a little bit of a risk, but uh, that is a story with the firm. Madrigal Pharmaceuticals, working on the right side of its base here. Got a nice little cup pattern. See if it pulls back any. This is what you want to see. Well, not always what happens. So there we go with Madrigal, look at Apple. Look at that, fire right into the breakout area. That is pretty amazing. Let's see if it has any pullback tomorrow. Nvidia pulled back to 119 and popped back up to 120. See what we got up 5%, 100% increase in volume. We got all disruptive tech. This is a blank check company. GameStop is bouncing back from its big pullback yesterday. This thing is all over the place. Semir Scientific. Had a big consolidation, pulled down to 2088, and now it, it is moving. Look at all these blue bars over here. And it's like we like to say that's not your aunt Edna buying that company. Texas Pacific Land. Wow, look at that breakout there. That is massive volume. And it is into the profit zone today. And finally, we go to Avidity Biosciences. Got a nice move here. It's declared 30.94 for a breakout. Oh, 
Well, seems too short of a time pen for a regular base. So that is a story with RNA. I'll just kind of, we got out of MicroStrategy today. Just don't like the move in Bitcoin. Pull back a little bit and bounce up to 1555. Not sure if that move in Bitcoin is over. Well, share the screen here. Just take a look at that. We were kind of looking for a pullback to maybe 64,000. So we'll see. Came down here to 66,185 was a low. Didn't undercut that. So it got up here. After hours yesterday, it really sold off, as you can see right over here. Started at 69,347. And this has been trending down. So we'll have to continue watching that. Ethereum kind of fell off the cliff at 3650. They did undercut at 3438, and they've been coming up. So that is the story there. Let's go back to our charts. Looked at NVIDIA. Eyes, lips, and face. Elf Beauty had a nice move today, up nearly 4%. And then the pullback on the bond yields, bouncing off of its 20 day moving average, up pretty close to 190. We said before we got it, uh, we bought the options at 160. And it was right around 155 and uh, it was bouncing. Four was selling off a little earlier. These are all things that we're currently trading in. Bought the option at 162.50 and 70. And then we put on short at 75 today. So we'll see if we get to roll that. Sorry, four. Toast. Toast, I guess, hasn't quite hit bottom here. Tried to bounce here, pull back some more. So we'll just continue watching Toast. Weatherford had a big move yesterday. Just pulling back a little bit, got above its. 10 day moving average and has pulled back some. We do have a $135 covered call on Weatherford. Just look at our little pad here. We did notice, we did get into Apollo investments. We had, um, this we bought initially at a 111. I think we sold it at 116. Decided to go back in today on this little bit of a pullback. Uh, right, I believe it was a 116.98. Well, continue to watch that one. AV, AV had a good day. So we had this little tight area here, kind of a shelf, just riding a 10 day. We've got a big bounce on that one today, up 3%. The other aviation company probably have. FDA initially sold off and then bounced off of the 10 day. There's our IPO. We did uh, short it at 165. So we got a covered call at 165 and we bought it at 54.55. And 
and it just continues moving up. Where it would be 65 would be pretty close profit zone. So that's why we put that on there. Take a look at how much we are looking in this one. Pull back to the 10 day and is bouncing pretty much in the profit zone. Broad strike had another strong move today. We bought the 320 option right over here. We thought it was going to move, I guess, it, somewhere in here and um, pull back. And then earnings jumped, got added to the S&P 500, and then it has moved out of the pivot, pivot zone here. I think the 52-week um, price target is 435, put them, put them by Wells Fargo. Kava Mediterranean Grill, the food restaurant area is bouncing. We do have covered call that we're trying to sell at 100. So we'll continue to watch that, see how that plays out. Dutch Brothers. And a little bit of a pullback today. We put this on at 34.50. And we have two options at 36. So it's trying to stay around the 40 area. Let's see what else we got here. Make sure we don't miss anything. And I think that wraps it up. Um, let's take this one. Denison Mines. A strong pullback to $2 today. We have the 250 option for July. Let's see if this holds at two or if it continues moving down. We'll have to decide what to do because it is definitely under the 50 day moving average. So that's our story for today. Thank you for tuning in on Taco Tuesday. Hope you've gone out there and had a supported your favorite taco stand. And tomorrow we'll take a look at some food categories that uh, will just be great, great to taste and some people that we've met um, over the last week. But in the meantime, keep working on your goals and your activities. And if you have any questions on your financial goals, feel free to reach out to us. This has been Mornings with Michael for information and educational purposes only. Have a great day and continue having a fantastic week.